guys, welcome back to my channel. And today's video is on what to pack for a weekend getaway. So I feel like this is gonna be a good video to see what you can put in your weekend getaway bag, as I like to call it, and always keep it stocked in your home or in the car or something like that. Just, you know what I mean? You're going for a drive, hey, let's go, let's stay here for the weekend or whatever. Set, you have a bag ready to go. So without further ado, let's start looking at what I have in my bag. So the first thing you want is a bag. This is our bag. It's good enough for the two of us. If it was just me, I think I would still use the same bag because <laughs> I need a big bag for all my stuff. But um, we end up getting this bag for free when we got like one of those perfumes when we were um, doing a layover in Dubai or Abu Dhabi. And this bag is a Paco Rabanne bag, but any bag, any big bag, you know how Victoria's Secret ends up giving away those bags too when you spend over so much money. There's always bags like this around. Um, if anything, a duffel bag, your gym bag even, just clear it out, push it on the side, and get ready for your stuff. So, for me, once you got a bag, you need to know what do you really need in it. And no matter where you go, I feel like you're always going to use a towel. Whether it's for a beach, if you're going to be laying on the grass, or if even if you know you go somewhere and you don't have a towel to dry yourself after shower, you're always going to need a beach, a beach towel. So for us, we have our beach towels. We actually took them from the hotel when we were in Miami. But um, these are our towels. They're nice. They're big. Um, big nice towels that's all you really need it's nothing fancy but it's something that we'll use at the beach because it's just a regular towel if anything happens to it you don't really like care about it it's not like a big designer towel is what I'm trying to say so you're always gonna need beach towel so I have two beach towels for us that they stay at the bottom of this bag they don't move they stay there they only come out when they need to get washed and then they get put right back in so they're always in my bag ready to go beach towels check next you're gonna need toiletries no matter what you're gonna need a toothpaste toothbrush um, deodorant those type of things so make sure you have a bag that it already has all those in there and what I like to do is have little travel size so I don't worry about them. I don't have to touch my um, stash from my washroom. I just know it's in there, ready to go. It's good for every trip. When it like goes out, I'll just replace it right away. I mean, it's so easy. You can even get the stuff from the dollar store. That's how amazing it is. For me, I like to put everything in this bag that I got from Kate Spade. I actually got it as like one of those, um, you spend so much, you get a free bag. So that's how I got this one. And in it, I like to have um, some cotton swabs so I can take off makeup or anything. I always have a hair clip because you never know when you're going to need extra hair clips. Hair ties. I always have hair ties. I also have um, like wipes. If you want to individual wipes, you can buy these at Shopper. I also have like a mini brush, um, but I don't know where it went right now. We have mini gel. This one we can get at shoppers in those travel areas that they have. Um, that's where this is for this. So if it's not for me, for when I wanna just put up my hair up in a ponytail and just, you know, put all my flyaways back, or if Raph needs it, he has it too. So that's good for him. I also make sure that I have a mini suntan lotion. I mean, you can always get the big one and just leave a big one in there for you and your partner or whoever needs it your girlfriends guy friends whoever but so there's nothing like having a little mini one in your bag or in here just like spur of the moment kind of thing um, this is usually our big travel size one uh, we have so many of them that I also put this in here for him this one gives off a little bit of a shimmer. That's why I like it. It's like put it on my shoulders, in the sun, you shimmery. That's why I like it. So I put that. And then um, for me to go with my facial wipes, I also have my makeup remover. Um, this one I had only a little bit left, so I repurchased a bigger bottle that I have at my vanity. 
but this one I just kept the rest to put in here so it's something I know doesn't bother my skin anytime I go take off makeup good to go I also got a pack of razors these I got them actually at forever 21 we haven't used them yet but I figured the next time we go if you need a razor last minute you know it's good to have or else just bring yours from home but it's always good to have a spare one in the bag that's the whole point of this is that just a grab and go kind of bag so Friday night you come home grab your bag you go you just decide after where you want to go where you want to stay you don't want to stay but at least you have the option because you have your stuff with you deodorant so when I'm with people sometimes you want a spray can because some some other people your girlfriends or something they don't they forget to bring their underarm deodorant so you have that kind of spare one that they can use too. you just spray it and go um, I also have a mini size one that I got from Dollarama you know the secret um, watermelon flavor because that's my favorite one either watermelon or strawberry is my favorite so I always keep the watermelon one I put it in here right now I don't have it so that's why I have this in here um, scented spray when you go to the washroom sometimes you're at a hotel room with other people you get a little uncomfortable you have to use the washroom smells it happens it happens you know what I mean you eat the wrong food or you drink too much you have not a good time so it's always good to have one of these. I mean, you can get these at No Frills, Shoppers Drug Mart, anywhere. It's just a little glade thing that you can stick in your bag or in this bag and you're ready to go. Or if you're sh like you're sharing the house with so many people and you get uncomfortable, it's easy. You just go washroom, you spray, and you're okay. So because this is also my getaway bag for like beachy type um, places, no matter what, you still have run that risk of getting some kind of sunburn if you forget to put lotion or you go in the water or the pool or something and you come out and you forgot to reapply and you get burned I always like to make sure I have some solar cane or aloe vera with me uh, or vitamin E gel any one, of the, any one of those are good but for us I really think solar cane aloe vera gel is the best it really heals you nice and you're good to go like later that night if you want to go out putting some of this really soothes the burn and for me it's always like right here I get them even though it tans nice I still get some kind of redness so I like to put a little bit on let that cool and then I continue with my makeup for the to go out at night what we like to do is buy these little travel size um, bottles this one is Dove Men Care. This one's for Raph. Um, for myself, I actually like buying these packages for traveling. And then in one of these long tubes, I'll put shampoo. And then another long tube, I'll put um, my conditioner in it. I always like to have some body butter. So for me right now, I got this one in the mail. Body butter cream um, just from this company, Delectable. I don't know, we're gonna try it. It smells okay. This one for now will go in here for when we go away on weekend. Here in Maldives, they gave us these little packages every day they were in the washroom. They have so many different little things that we could have taken. So I thought this was really cute and every day I actually took it and I, I used them there. But I also took it so that way when I come back I also have a portable toothbrush. So it comes in this package, um, it comes with toothpaste and a toothbrush. And this is what the toothbrush looks like. So I'll have one for me, one for Ram. And then you also want a little bit of perfume or something. I always say when you go to department stores and they ask uh, if you want a sample or anything like that, I usually keep those samples and I keep them for when we go away. So I don't have to worry about bringing a full size bottle. Um, if you like perfume, I would do that. Just get your favorite perfume, Ask, go to the counter, ask for the small size so you can put it in there at all times. And then it's good, you don't have to worry until you run out, really. Or, worst case scenario, you can always go to like Victoria's Secret or Bath and Body Works for whatever scent you really like and get it in one of these travel um, plastic containers. So you don't have to worry, just go, spray yourself, you're ready. One bag and it goes in here. So I will have my towels at the bottom, I put my toiletries off to one side, and then goes all of our clothes. Clothes, what I like to keep in the bag 
for me and Ram, I'll make sure that he has, um, what, like at, the, at that moment, whatever he feels like. He's usually like, because I get home before him, so that Friday night, he'll call me and say, you know what, we should go, but can you just pack, you know, this, this, and this, and I'll do it. For myself, I always like to keep my stuff in the bag. So that way, I, I know for me, I'm done. I don't have to worry. I'll keep a pair of pajamas. One pair is enough, not a big deal. One pair of pajamas. Of course, I can never make up my mind, so two bathing suits or bikinis. So for me, bathing suit, bikini. These, I got them at Forever 21 and, what, oh yeah, Forever 21. I used to also get these at H&M, but then they started being a little more on the expensive side. And Forever 21 still had it like five bucks, three bucks. Can't go wrong with that. Those are done. For the next day, you don't really have time to think, oh, what should I wear, this and that. If it's just a, a getaway where you don't really care, your way back home, clothes don't need to be like anything special. So I always like to keep a pair of tights. These are TNA tights that I just keep in there. They're pretty inexpensive. And an H&M white top. I always keep one of those on. I like white, so I'll always wear a nice white top. Another good thing to keep in there is, um, like Forever 20 has these Bodycon nice stretchy dresses. Good to go. If you want to go out at night but you want to change from what you're wearing, you get there, you change, you put one of these on, add some heels even, or wedges, good to go. If you're not with those type of person, a nice flat is nice. I like wearing these kind of flats. These are from uh, Le Chateau Outlet, so they kind of look like the Chanel ones, that's why I love them so much. So I'll wear these a lot. And of course some like Michael Kors flip-flops is usually my go-to and sometimes you know if you go somewhere or if it's a friend's cottage or something and they have like a bonfire sweater always bring a sweater so for me right now I'm really loving this sweater I bought it last year and it says home is Toronto and I thought it was so cute so I bought it for honeymoon I wore it honeymoon on our way around because I get really cold in the plane so for me it was like perfect. Of course I spilled hot chocolate on it. Who would I eat without spilling something on it? I think I even have a stain still like right there. It's really hard to come off. I'm not yet very domesticated in taking off stains. We're working on that. So that is my weekend getaway bag. We had toiletries, towel, spare pajamas, and spare bathing suits, clothes for the next day, a sweater, and some flip-flops or flat running shoes type thing. That's really all you need for a quick weekend getaway. You can always keep them in the bag, so that way, you know what, you come home, you guys are sitting on the couch, and like, you know what, what should, what should we do? What do you want to do this weekend? Well, hey, let's go to Niagara Falls. Awesome, grab the bag, let's go. That's half an hour right there. Time that you could be on the road getting to your destination. Or if it's really like a hectic day at work and then you guys know that you need to be out of the house by a certain time so you can beat the traffic and get to Wasega like a lot of people do for long weekends. Hey, the bag is ready in the car. Pick me up after work and let's drive there already. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you have any other ideas or things that you put in your getaway bag, leave them in the comments down below. i really like to see what you guys um, put in your bag for weekend. If you really enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Please like, share, and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Later, YouTube. And um, one thing I forgot to mention was underwear. To make sure you put underwear in there um i have everything in the wash right now <laughs> so i know i always put in some undies you know some bras that's pretty much a, a must have okay we do not go commando around here <laughs>
I think that went very well. What do you put in your weekend getaway bag?